guys, you're up here. <laughs> baby, baby. One, two, two three. Try and get Ike on a paddleboard. This did not work out the first. Come on. She's like, she's like, no. Nope, nope not that boat. Right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ico. Come on. Right here. Come on. Come on. The problem with Ico is on. that she's not treat motivated. Okay. So like That's putting good. a treat on there, rewarding her off with a treat is not gonna help. Good oh, good girl. good girl. Have her sit down. Sit. That's it. Okay. That's so much better than last time already. Wow, good job, Bear. You're doing great. Her little Stand legs right, are girl. shaking. This way you get to go to the bank and go potty and chase squirrels. It'll be so fun. Aiko's tough to motivate. Akita's in general, but especially her because she's not treat motivated, doesn't have a high ball drive. She's just sort of like wants to please you, but also is very stubborn. <laughs> Good girl. All right, let's see how this goes. Got one foot on. Oh God! <laughs> this is the stubborn part that I mentioned. I oh my gosh. He's caught her by the tail. He's getting frustrated, but he's honestly being so much more patient than I would have been. I would have given up like 10 minutes ago and come back and got the dinghy that she's used to <laughs> and grabbed her that way. Oh, okay. Well, speak no it. All right, well, I chalked this up as a half success. I mean, we got her on it, so that was a good start. <laughs> it was a really good effort, baby. It was a very good effort, I tried. You lasted longer than I would have. Well, she gets her mind up to something. Oh, it's hard to it's hard to change it. You're not gonna fix it. She's a woman. <laughs> Maybe next time. So you guys have seen this in a lot of our videos, and we did a whole video um, on this. But when Iko needs to go to the bathroom, we do have to take her to the bank. She's really good about not going to the bathroom on the dock. It's happened, you know, when she like wasn't feeling well and had some tummy upset issues before, and we just hose it off, no big deal. But she like really strongly prefers to do her business up in the woods. So no big deal. We just take her twice a day, maybe three times if we're just out and about. And that's really all she needs. If you want to try a trick, it doesn't work for our dog. It works for a lot of dogs. When I lived on the ocean, all the sailors did it. You can take a rope and put it down in the water, leave it for a week or two, let it start growing all the green mold and funk. You can take that rope and actually coil it up on the boat somewhere and when it starts drying out it'll smell real bad and the dogs love to go to the bathroom on it or at least they'll pee on it. Ico is a special dog. We picked up Ico I think in Charlotte. It's been seven years. I can't remember. Akitas don't like to be petted or come with a call or a call or anything like that so Ico means one that is done from afar. Ico was not always a boat dog. When I first got her, I was still traveling, working in nuclear power plants. And Akitas are great for small areas. They don't require a lot of exercise, and they sleep all the time. So they're actually a big dog that's good for apartment dwellers or tiny homes. So she's trained to sit for a long time, which that's all Akitas are like that. Every Akita, well, every Akita I've had, I've had four of them. They're all like that. They will lay there and sleep and never move. This is not a dog that's easily trained. It took me a long time to get her trained. Sit, stay. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> but she's now a boat dog through and through. She lives on a boat, she sleeps on a boat. When she goes to work with me, she's at a ship store that's floating. She's on the water 98% of the day. And she loves riding in boats. 
Do you think that she has a good life on here? Or do you think that she misses back when we lived on land? All she wants to do is sleep. That's what they do. I would imagine that the one thing that she probably misses about living on land is the old house that we had. She was like two houses away from um, horse horse pasture, and she loves rolling in horse poop. But yep. we do not miss her rolling in that horse poop. So whatever, I'm okay with that trade off. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think she's got it made. She gets left alone when we go in the grocery store. The rest of her life, she's always with us. We don't go anywhere without her. And then on the rare occasions that we do want to leave Ico here by herself, which, yeah, honestly, it almost never happens. Usually it's just if we're going to like one of our neighbor's houses that has a dog that maybe she doesn't get along with very well. She's always got her food, she's got her water, and underneath the porch here, she's got somewhere where she can be in the shade. We'll just leave the door wide open so she can come in and out as she pleases and she's got everything she needs. Her biggest problem out here, of course, is staying cool. Just this week, we're putting in our AC unit. We take it out in the winter and then put it back in around this time. It's super efficient and gives her an option to go inside if she wants to, to be a little cooler. Otherwise, she eats a lot of ice. She loves eating ice and she swims. We can't get her to jump off the dock, which honestly is probably a good thing so she doesn't like jump off whenever we do leave her here by herself. But if you take her to the bank, she does love to like tiptoe in. She's, you know, she's just not a band-aid girl. That's all. She likes to take her time. It definitely gets cold here in the winter. So in the winter time, she loves it. I mean, she would sleep outside in 10 degrees if we would let her. <laughs> The duck is under the house. Go get <laughs> Are they in your house? <gasps> what is it? You tell them. The ducks were under the house. This right here is her most favorite toy ever. <laughs> it's a rope that Brandon has attached to this hinge here. This is actually like lake trash that we found and repurposed into a toy. And it's, you know, a fetch toy that can't get lost in the lake. When she is feeling spunky, she loves playing with this thing and like pulling on it. So overall, is it a good idea to have a dog and a floating cab in her houseboat? I would say absolutely. I mean, it certainly depends on the dog. Some dogs have different needs than others, but I will say um, almost every single floating cabin in our houseboat in this harbor has a dog, actually. They all seem really happy, honestly. I think the most important thing is that you are hanging out with them, spending time with them, playing with them, um, giving them what they need, whatever that is. And with Ico, that's some trail running, lots of time to sleep, and like our general presence. And of course she adds so much joy to our life, like so much. And she's also like the best security system ever. Any, you know, any animal, person, boat, anything that comes anywhere near our boat. She's gonna let us know, which can get pretty old, but we certainly don't have to worry about anybody sneaking up here. <laughs> so all in all, would recommend. I am absolutely burning up, like pouring sweat, so I'm gonna go jump in. Hopefully this has been interesting to some of y'all. Let us know in the comments what you are surprised about, what you're still curious about. Thanks for joining us. Bye guys.